Bob, first of all, you just came back from a tour. Where were you? We were in England. Yeah. We were in America first, and then uh, after America, we went to England. Yeah. I know the, the tour in America here was slaying the family stone. Um, what was it like working with them? Great, yeah. Um, yeah, we the fun story with Sly and I do some show with the man thing till um after a while we never we, we never st we never finished most about three of the show then. Cause we'd have some date on our own, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's said really good with that. Yeah. Listen, now now the time has come when you are going on tours with people like Sly and the Family Stone. I mean these are people that we hear about in Jamaica and when you hear the name you know they are big stars. Uh, when you, when you perform on the same bill with people like that, do you feel any different from when you perform in Jamaica on your own? Well, right now, the difference in feelings. You know, right now, I don't really feel no difference. We just want to play good music and play good music. Mm -hmm. So we don't care which part of the music I play. Because it's not the, it's not the people who play, we are play, we are play music, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, we just love to play good music. <laughs> oh, Bob, but have you at all made any changes in, in the way you play your music when you go to America? Or you just play it same like you play it here? Well, to tell you the truth, the music where, where I play, well, are the music where I would like to play. The music where um, it's playing in Jamaica, but never really get the full understanding and the music with me or play or the music because the next you know from now on is my, my music we'll play now mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of course you know this business about you being popular in England nowadays you just told me you're on the cover rolling of what, what magazine in England this week one of the music magazines I use um, Melody Maker yeah all right so you're on the cover of Melody Maker in Britain that must mean they think a great deal of you, you know, critics write about your records and all that sort of thing. Do you think this is the point that you wanted to reach? Or what exactly is the point you want to get to in music? Well, the point is the fulfillment of revelation. And I man don't say it's my work for going to Babylon, I really do what I do, but I find myself doing it and I can't stop it because greater power than the power I know of myself. Make I do it. Mm -hmm. And then I find no arm come to I. So I do it. But the real thing is that His Imperial Majesty Emperor Celestia I is earth rightful ruler. And I man is a citizen of the earth and Zion is Ethiopia, you know? Well, I don't know if it's my work for God, not Babylon, or really get the youths together. But I find myself in a farm where if I have understanding or overstanding, I can see it really does do something towards something, you know? <laughs> and it's revelation now. Yeah. Now, Bob, could we talk a little bit about you and how you started out in this singing business? I know you started very young. How did you start? Started out crying. <laughs> right from the start. Yeah, eh? started out ah, crying, yeah. you know. And then music becomes a part. Our music is a part. I was a part, you know. What I tell you, it really started is really a thing when we really have to think about how it really started because we can't be ungrateful to Ja. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday we started, yet it was yesterday, you know. Mm -hmm. So in from the beginning, Jad created in you know, the starting for the man's start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So we really have to think about the, from the cre from creation then. All right. Well, well. Okay. Let Let's get it down to this sort of terms now. When did you first go in a studio, or somebody got you in a studio, or you went on a stage show or some perform in public? Oh, uh, about 1960, 1960, 1959, 1960. Yeah. No, when, what is that? You went in a studio to record? No, go um, for a stage show. Casting, yes. Cast, oh. them used to have a little thing down at Queens, you know. So one night I'm going to go sing a tune and win a pound. <laughs> and the man them tell me they must start singing. Right away? Yeah, because, eh? yeah, because them time they used to down Darling Street and Sartre on the back of wall and them place, you know. Among some brethren who knew the right but get brutalized by just saying right things, you know what I mean?
yeah. <laughs> you know, Bob, um, it, it seems to me you always seem to come back to the, the situation when, it, when you talk that um, you're always aware of the suffering. It seems to me that it's all, you, you keep coming right back to it all the time. I, I, would you say you're a bitter person or angry or, or you know? Well, I'm on sight of her to the inevitable. And when I'm on sight of her, I know say, people live off a of false pretense, majority of them, you know? And I know say, I and I don't have to suffer the way you always suffer. Not because of material things, but in some way, material things becomes a object we make I and I have to suffer. And through the people and the teaching where them get and them want to come teach we the same teaching the whole wine where them get. And we are showing them the truth today. And so them fight against the truth because them say well then because of this self pride and respect. Mm -hmm. Because you older than me, I shouldn't come tell you something where you should have where you should have known long, long time ago. So you use this false pride and fight me down because when I tell you about Rastafari, through your long experience you are from time ago about the teaching where you get. You can't see this new this nothing a new wine, this is creation, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you can't see something where them don't teach you, you only have to see where them teach you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not angry and all of that, but it's just truth, you know, and yeah. and yeah. and then it have a bust out a man like yeah. a river. Right, right. And and your way to bust it out is in your music. That that's the way it comes out. That's how, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, your expression. So talk, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Listen now. You, you talk about material things, right? But Bob, quite frankly, I don't think you would fairly say that right now you are a sufferer, in the sense of money. Well, if you check what money is, then. Money don't make you suffer, and money don't make you don't suffer. Hey, everything really rests in your mind, you know, because I dig this. Yeah. I man is, I man is a farmer, you know. And I man don't live with money. Them could have never give you a penny, I say. I man have to live. You know, but again, you know, I man can play music, and I man don't fear it for the earth. So I man play music, and if money for come out of music, make don't it come out of music, don't my, don't my directly. My heart really open wide, I bleed blood for get money. Yeah. You know? Yeah, right. For right, the thing right. is, Selassie I is the king of kings. But earth, no, which guy on earth rich like the king of kings? So my father's the richest man on earth, so I'm a rich, rich man. But then I mind me, I and I suffer on you because, you know, I and I mind me, I and I suffer yeah. on you. Because it's not material things make you suffer, you know, because just them never give a man more than him can bear. That means neither some man tell me, say, yes, them never drink no tea, and the other day they never drink no tea, because I know if the man that want to drink tea, he could have drink tea. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. the mind things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's fantastic, you know. I mean, a lot of people listen to popular music, right? They listen to records. And... If they're not, if some people just listen to it and all the music, the rhythm, in other words, it's some for them to dance to. But it seems to me you put such a lot in your lyrics. Does it bother you that Jamaica people don't hear your lyrics as well as they should? Or you think that they understand them and your message is getting across? Well, I say many shall be called, but only few chosen, right? And then. The people have listened for the last, for the trumpet, which is not no trumpet to accomplish. Man Managa talks says his imperial majesty, earth rightful ruler. Now, Bob, a lot of recording artists have come on the show, and a lot of them have talked in very bad terms about record producers in Jamaica and about the record industry in Jamaica generally. Now, you have been in it from, um, you know, a couple of years well now. Yeah. What is your opinion of the situation now? In Jamaica and the record in yeah. in Jamaica. But I think we're having a nice revolution because plenty of youth doing recording. Who never knows that they don't do recording? You know what I mean? So really right now we love what's going on. Yeah. True true. Yeah. But when you first started out, did you ever have any bad experiences with record producers? Well yes, but that is what caused the revolution today. Uh -huh. Because the true them treat we so bad at them time. You see, the words spread around, say, the producer treat too bad. That means all artists start the things for themselves and man are the things for the suffer and get it together down at the ghetto. Mm -hmm. And the guys them who 
have them big studio and drafts. So well, their name is middle class and this and we can only come to them studio, come chat to them and do a tune and get a twenty pound. All of them things they get a beaten. Mm-hmm. And it's only opportunities I go through, go, go through them tribulations right now. Because tribulations, from both sides, mm-hmm. for the youth when they come and for the guy when they get old. Yeah, yeah. But listen, did you, when you were coming along in the business and you're having some bad experiences, did you ever feel at any time that you had had enough that you would like to get out of this business? Or is it something that you cannot get out of? Yeah, man, one time I know, well, all right, getting out of the business is a different thing. Mm-hmm. But one time I feel like I should take up my arms, you know. Mm-hmm. And do a thing, but just say, no, youth, cool. Mm-hmm. Because it's a race, you know? Yeah. And i glad, say, that's how it work out for a man. Them go have too much wickedness out there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Tell me, now, let's go to this business of your religion. You're a Rastafarian. How yeah. long have you been a Rastafarian? How long have I been a Rastafarian? I am a Rasta, man. You know, I, I stand Rasta. Mm-hmm. For say how long, it's like again you have to say from creation, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you can overstand it that way. Because you're like, say, you're like, let's say, 15 years, 10 years. It's not really so. It's from creation. Yeah. But you know, a lot of people in Jamaica, they hear about Rasta, they see Rasta, but yet they, a lot of things about it they do not understand. Um, could you explain to people exactly what it means being a Rastafarian? I would say to the people, man, be still and know that his imperial majesty, Emperor Isla Selassie I of Ethiopia, is the almighty. Now, anyone have anything to say, come up, come say, Lord, make me hear what they have to say. Now, the Bible says so, Babylon newspaper says so, and I and I, the children, say so. You know? Yeah, yeah. So I don't see what, what, what kind of more reveal. Our people want more God for reveal to them. What they want? They want a white God. Well, God come black. Mm-hmm. You know, listen, Bob. Choo choo. Yeah, but listen. You know, a lot of people have a feeling that um, a lot of guys who claim to be Rastas are really, as one song says, rascal. Many shall be called, but only few chosen. You know, and they shall be sheep and wolf in sheep clothing. But I and I couldn't watch that this day because I have to live Rasta and no Rasta. I don't come to judge a man, just to leave our judgment unto him. So all the people who see a man out there and say, Oh, he might go and like say, him say my Rasta. Who is them for say, Oh, he might go and so? Mm-hmm. When God say, Leave our judgment unto him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do what you think about all this crime and violence going on though, as a Rasta? <laughs> well, I want to think of all the crime and violence going on. It's last cause, crime and violence. Well, I don't really, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, earth I come, earth, earth, I forward to creation was, you know, earth for rest, the mind thing. Now, all the laws that we abide by and blah, blah, boom, 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 because we suffer, as any man can know that, them laws that them have don't must be a must. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which laws, you're speaking about any laws in particular? Every law. The only law... Which is law, is the law of life. The law how to live. Mm-hmm. Now dig this. A man build him city and him say, I want these people for run it and I want these people for live here. So no, me don't want, me don't want to get involved talking like me's a politician now me want to be, you know what I mean? Me just want to talk about righteousness like several and Jared rightful rule and him run no wire fence. Yeah, yeah. But am I right in assuming that um, Rastas do not believe in violence at all? Rasta don't believe in violence, man. Rasta, Rasta, Rasta don't believe. Rasta know. Yeah, yeah. This is when he believe is that mash you up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he must know what he know. Yeah, yeah. You know? All right. Now, um, one of the interesting things about you, right? Yes. You have reached a point in your career now where you're popular in England, you're popular in the United States, right? Yeah. Right. But you live in Jamaica. You move out quite often, but you live in Jamaica. Do you think, like, say, Jimmy Cliff, you're going to have to eventually shift and live somewhere else? Mm-hmm. You think you might have to go away to live? Ooh, you I know, personally. yes, you personally, as, as you get more popular no, over there. No, within 2,000 years, mm-hmm. <laughs> just yeah, say, yeah. you know, yeah. earth is earth. Within 2,000 years, now it's 1,973. Like I say again, I don't do this thing for no money business. Mm-hmm. 
this thing is if just say if Jap come in I and make it make it move that I have to go in England go say these things again I say these things in America or Australia mm-hmm. I will have to go because I personally as a servant of his Imperial right, Majesty right, right. not doing no hard work just doing what just say I for do yeah yeah and trim get the, the power for play music and him get the inspiration to say the things and the people who him work to because I man know say join every living in every life mm-hmm. now some people are devil and some people are angel Dig, just to leave all judgment unto him. Mm-hmm. Dig, so you know, it's plenty of things, but some certain things I'm gonna have to really keep to himself and try to yeah. suss it out for himself because you can't say things at the time you say it, it's not so right, and maybe not. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have to do yeah, yeah. really because it's things that thing with Jal teach every day, and sometimes you have to learn, you have to, you have to know him, say, yeah. have to suss it out. No, you know, you, you obviously you, you have your religious faith. Right, and you you have your convictions. Do you get annoyed by people who do understand what you're talking about? Do you get annoyed? I'm sorry for the people who do not understand what you talk about, mm-hmm. man, because they be a great tribulations in time when they don't have to. Mm-hmm. And it's not, you know, you see, I I personally know my heart can be hard as a stone, and yet soft as water. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then again, still sorry for the people who don't know his imperial majesty. Yeah. Because it's like my mother used to tell me, you know, people either got chopped off and them want dead and can't dead in, mm-hmm. the, in the judgment. Mm-hmm. And these days, yeah, at the judgment days, mm-hmm. you know, only the fittest of the fittest shall survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what Marcus Garvey said. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And you just said, go. But tell me now, um, as, as a raster, what is your feeling about being Jamaican? Being Jamaican? Yeah. Well, being Jamaican. Well, that year's gone on, Neville. Being Jamaican. I don't say being Jamaican, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I see myself as a Rasta, being Rasta. Uh-huh. You know? Uh, yeah. So Jamaica is Jamaica. Africa is Africa. I'm an a Rasta. Uh-huh. You don't have any boundaries? My boundaries. No, well, I must pick a place on earth where I know I must live. Uh-huh. And I know I want to live near my father. And my father lives in Ethiopia. Yeah. So I must live where my father is. Literally? In other words, literally you hope to go and live in Ethiopia someday? I don't hope. We're going mm-hmm. and near, near. Uh-huh. This is 1973, going near to 74, uh-huh. now, you know. And just say, uh, before one of my world pass away, even on earth, crash. Dig. Mm-hmm. And him say I'm going to prepare a place that where he is, I and I shall be there also. But Bob, listen, uh, every day nowadays you read about famine in, in uh, Ethiopia. What you say to that now? Right. Great. Everybody I, say, asking about great. I say great. If you don't know God, you're going to suffer and dead. Mm. No God, no partial, regardless where you're on hurt. If you're in Ethiopia, in him, in, him, in him palace, and you don't know say him is the Almighty, you suffer. Regardless where you're there, God, no partial, I. No, I could have I could have starved and suffered too, but I know Ja. Bob, your career is at a time you make the cover of Melody Maker in England. People talking about you in the States. You you have good albums coming out. You're on a new record label in Ireland now? Yes, Ireland. Do you ha- are you satisfied with the contract with them? <laughs> yeah. eh? Are you quite satisfied? Because well, I know uh, you've had a hard Satisfaction is a hard thing uh, to get, you know. Yeah. And leave to what you need to be satisfied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, I'm comfortable. I know I can make a move in time when I make a move. And that's the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So um, that's the situation right now with you. Now, it's Bob Marley and the Whalers. You write such a lot of material for the group. You have such a lot to do with it. We heard of Dana Ross and the Supremes. And then we heard of Dana Ross by herself. Are you committed to the group? Well, yes. The group is the Whalers. Well, for some reason, I'm saying Bob Marley and the Wheelers. I never tell no one to say that from no time at all. But maybe for some reason, I'm doing it, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm on the Wheelers, you know? And you just said rest. I do rest, so. Yes. Uh, I... Okay, so what is the next move as far as your career goes? You have this album out burning. What, what right next? now, what the next thing is, right now, and I will play some music, you know, and just go and play some music until then. Until what happens, we just happen there because I'm on, I and I don't plan like, you know, yeah, yeah. man plans your wife. Right, right, right. 
But um, do you have any special tours coming up that you know of? No, I don't right now. I don't know of no tours right now. But I know tours might possible as well as maybe no more tours. <laughs> I, I understand what you mean. All right, but what about songwriting? You, you write such a lot of music. Different people write music in different ways. Some sit down and write the words and then put the music to it. Some write the music, then drop in the words after. What is, do you have a process? Uh, and exactly what is it if you have one? Well, it grew together, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, first time I try to write a song was the first time I try to play the guitar. Mm -hmm. And so, I can't write a song without the guitar. But it really grew together. I really just not like steered my guitar, you know. But it just happened. It just happened. It's, it's, it's just yeah. inspiration yeah, yeah, come yeah, true, yeah. man, you know. And yeah. It just... Because... I personally could write a, it could look like I could write a woolly patron it look like, you know, but I pick special tune for right. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. a man can think of plenty of things, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, I understand. Hey, listen, you know, I know you had a close association with Johnny Nash, who has done quite a lot of your tunes. And um we hear people talking and say, Boy, I wonder if Johnny Nash ever treats our Jamaican man right. What exactly is the situation? We we're, we're quite free on this program. Well, them give me some money the other day, you know, and um, well, I'm going to sign that agreement with them, man. Well, really, I check it out, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, because, cha, you know, it's like, we don't want to say nothing bad about them and still right. we don't have nothing much good for say. Right, right. You know? But what do you think about Americans taking the reggae and doing it and making big money out of it, like Johnny Nash has done and Paul Simon and a couple other people? What do you think about that? Well, them do something which you, these people out here, I try to kill way off. We couldn't do, right? Uh -huh. Because them people out here are too wicked. Yeah. No, no, never, them things make me vex, like, yeah. you know. I understand. You know what I mean? I, I can understand, yeah. Because I watch, look how much good artists in Jamaica. You know what I mean? And, and, and look what look it take for um, a guy just say, because them is guys, say, um, all right, make we get some good recording done and do a thing with it. Mm -hmm. Just a whole of people when you come in, come to fifteen tune in three hour. Yeah, you know. And so a guy spend fifteen thousand mm dollar -hmm. to make a album, and when the album come, it sell a million. Yeah, yeah. So him don't lose because he really stay there. Him no guess nothing. Him stay there and do him that do. Yeah. So you, well, mean, you mean that the people here wouldn't spend the money on us? Them never want to do I that. I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Them wait till when time John Nash and them guys go on with that thing and certain guys, them say, well, if a guys are coming now and them, 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 them hardly even want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Have we have the one studio and all of that uh -huh, where, we are, uh -huh. where we are going to try to get right now our own studio. All right, but... Because no, we want to jam it, we have it. You, you, want, you want a studio? Yeah, That's because we like. want to make music. You have yeah. too much money out there. We have to go through too much other things just to classes yeah. you know you 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 spoke a couple times about classes middle class yes everything. because I'm the come class, to realize yeah. Eh, yeah them really divide we in classes yeah, yeah yes and it's true them them try for dividing classes where we don't agree with yeah guys wickedness you can't divide the people or you can you divide the people and some of them now four foot yeah true true <laughs> listen bob we, we run out of time but i just like to ask you if you have any sort of hope in the country Jamaica right now you're a guy who's getting all right in your field uh, you know in singing hope in the country yeah. well yes Jamaica is a nice great place you now really love Jamaica you know, because I walk plenty of stone land in Jamaica and plenty of hills but I think yes, yes. really need a direction not a big old signing up this and signing up that but a direction in your own country yeah. where one, one to the earth. I mean, we have to steal the soil and plant back the seeds in the soil, you know, and you know, call for slavery for do that. Well, at least... You just call for understand. You have, understand you have it. <laughs> right, and you have made a start because you said you are a farmer. I'm not a farmer, yes, if All I'm right. creation. Okay. Bob Marley, it's been a great pleasure talking with you.